Hey, what's up guys? It's Liam or Weagle on your destiny back with a new video today. We're going to be talking about the Quick Fang Sword, which is a Hunter exclusive legendary sword and is honestly one of the most fun things I have found in Destiny 2 to date. Now, this is fortunately one of the things that does cross platform. So, I'll be talking about this for PC and for console as it's a very, very good weapon and honestly, just insanely fun. If you play Overwatch like me and you like being Genji, well, you're going to like playing this anime sword too. This is an absolutely insane weapon and I found loads of ways to utilize it, especially in PvP. So, we'll be covering that and PvE today. Now, the perks that this weapon actually has is what I think makes it really good, which it has lightweight frame, which is a fast movement and quick strikes. Use the right click, which would be your left trigger, I believe, to launch a dash attack. Now, there's a few options here for what you want, and I personally like Tempered Edge because when you play in PvP, you get 9 sword ammo, which is a hell of a lot. You also get more in PvE, of course, I believe it's 31, but picking up 9 in PvP is just huge. It's so many kill potential value, and it's going to one-shot nearly everything in the game. So far, the only thing I haven't been able to one-shot with the normal fire is actually a Stormcaller Warlock. It nearly killed him in one. But I can show you examples on screen of where I'm just one-shotting either Golden Guns or Arc Striders or Sentinels. And if you use the alternate fire, the Quick Strike one, I'm pretty sure you can one-shot through any super in the game. Now, of course, when people get really high resilience, you may not be able to land that one-shot kill, but honestly, it's so good at cancelling out supers and it's so good in so many situations in pvp it also has sword master's guard which means when you're guarding it has low efficiency and low defense personally i never guard and finally it has on guard which is a trait quick attacks immediately after swapping to the sword do additional damage so if you pull the sword out and whack someone in the face it is going to do more damage so if you know someone's coming at you with a super again you can just whack it out and you know you're going to one shot someone in their super which is just absolutely insane. Now, I've been using this in PvP to great success. It's really good when you're playing in a game and the enemy want to actually turtle up a little bit because if you pick up this sword and pick up the heavy from your side, you can kind of sneak around the map. Now, this next part I'm going to talk about is kind of exclusive to PC, but is also still applicable to console, and that is the field of view. When you pull out a sword weapon, you can see in third person. Of course, you can see more on PC, but you can still see a lot of extra information around corners when you pull out a sword. If the enemy team are playing really annoying, you can use this to bait them into situations that give you the advantage with the sword. Very good when your team aren't getting tags, of course, in the supremacy game mode because you also instantly get the tag when you get the kill. Now, don't get me wrong. This isn't a flawless strategy. People can definitely outplay it by outweighting you, but generally, in quick play especially, people aren't going to do that. And being able to clean up entire teams by clicking a few times just because that you've baited them into you is just an insane thing you can do. And you get nine swings, remember, which is crazy. And the only way to really counter this is for people to play defensive and smart so that you cannot get close enough to do the damage. Now on PC, again, if you're playing Hunter, you get to go invisible, you get to do the dodges, or if you have Blink with a Warlock, you can also really throw people off so you can get closer and smack them in the face with this thing. Of course, you can also crouch around a corner and don't move at all and just leave your camera at an angle so that you know when someone's coming and they can't see you on the radar. There's so many applications for this weapon and it is so much fun. I'm absolutely loving it and I recommend you never delete it and use it in PvP if nothing else for some fun, but honestly, I think it's a top tier PvP weapon because of the sheer amount of ammo you get and the fact that you can still one-shot most supers in the entire game. Now, in terms of PvE, again, it's pretty good. It's not a top tier PvE weapon. You get a lot of ammo in it, and it is one of them swords that seems to drop a lot of extra heavy ammo too. There is not a perk that allows this, but it, do it just does. When I've used it, it just does drop a lot of heavy ammo too. You can clear through a lot of ads, and again, it's just so much fun. I think when we do these videos, we're always weighing up what's the best. This is top tier, but not the best 
but it is top tier in fun. If you've got it, let me know in the comment section down below if you've used it and how much use you've got out of it. I know the strat I'm talking about is a little bit unorthodox because it is kind of camping, but at the same time, that sometimes is what you may have to do to win a game. Swords are awesome, and this one's my favorite. Let us know what you think. Be sure to check out our Twitter, guys, and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you get notified when our videos go live. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and have a great day as always. Take care and peace, people.